Hi guys, Fez is there. Welcome back to Firewatch. It's been a while since I played it. It's been, I think, six days, five days since uh, the last time I recorded. And I just started this up and it's absolutely amazing. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Hmm. Alright, so we are following the trail of smoke, which I currently can't see. Hmm. The Lila doesn't report back, which is quite weird. She always tells us something. I mean, look at this. Let's have a look at the map where we are. Uh, oh yeah, we need to follow the river, I think. I think that was our objective. Let's head back to the river. Yeah, there's a beer can. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Oh, there you go. Welcome back, Delilah. Oh. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. Yeah, that's quite strange, actually. Around. Let's go over here. Oh. The whole feel of this game is just absolutely amazing. Music. How everything looks. Absolutely nice. Just listen to this, right? I just, I just can't stop talking about how beautiful this game is. Oh, there we go. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let Something them see out. you. What a job this is. <laughs> yeah, indeed. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? Well, right These girls here. have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. <laughs> Let's have a look over here. The tent looks what? like it's been through the shredder. Yeah. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um. There's some mouse. I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. There's a nose. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, indeed. Good thinking. That's a good thing. Alright, let's report it. Sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Uh... Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well... Did you? No. No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This Indeed. Is, I don't know, weird. We need to read this. It wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really Indeed. like to start enjoying a quiet summer. All right, let's read this. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how uh, you creeped on us in the lake. And then came and destroyed our campsite and, and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing pennies is gross. Out. You're probably a mental fucking ex murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Yeah, me too. <laughs> nice. That's all this. Day free. Oh, we're fixing our window. Find boards downstairs to patch the window. Good morning. Let's have a look if we can see the light of Stower. Hey, Henry. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Eh, because I'm horribly superficial. Got a little uh, hair. Like Burt Reynolds. 
<laughs> I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, <laughs> that gives me a good start. Now, let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, a couple more you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Nothing? Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Oh, Just god. One of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, you probably see me, right? A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. Why is that perfect? I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your oh. what? Is is that okay? Uh, yeah, it's okay. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. <laughs> Just picking up all the stuff. Uh, they're happy. I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how Whiskey. to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, can we uh, clean up some more? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? Yeah, what's what next? What do you think is next? I don't know. Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Alrighty. Yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> I love this. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. All right. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How were those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Ah, oh, come on. Magical. Good. Now get to work. Oh. Female. Day nine. All right. It's good for me. Day nine it is. Oh, look at this. Flurry eating. Nice sandwich. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon. Oh, wow. Look at this. I might never leave. Well, <laughs> uh... Oh. I Caught with some bad news. No, Two no, no. Young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last. Yeah, probably. To them. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me. You know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Well, it's worth mentioning, I, yeah. I think it's worth Let's mentioning Let's be honest something. here, right? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Yeah, thank you. I am enjoying this. Day 15! <laughs> We're flying through these days. Henry. Henry, wake up. Good morning. What's up? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Yeah. Oh, my way. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Uh... Babe, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. I should do. I am. Are you having a 
nice time. Oh, is she? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? What's the time over here? Oh yeah. Jules. Broken clock. What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Uh, don't know what to think of this. Well, American truck oh, simulator. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. What the? All right. They, <laughs> they thirty three. We're flying. All right. Where are we? Over there. Yeah, that's it. I can have to retrieve to bring supplies all the way up to our towers. Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? <laughs> anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes. I think that's the uh, that's the case we found earlier. Six. She's like really precise about it. Come on. Can we created this job if she didn't okay. need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Where are we going then? Supply drop. That's that's quite clear. So like two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night. Oh god. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay. You know, I think we are. Her. I th yeah, I think we are doing all right, but hmm. this one is difficult. I think he is feeling. Yeah. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Uh, I kind of did, right? Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Oh, God. Javier. Ugh, he's incredible. Oh. Caring. Sexy as hell. Yeah. Um, he was a driller down in Casper. I dated for almost five years. Wow. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, mm. and... I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. All right. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over 10 years. Wow. And uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Well, I mean, isn't that what you do? I don't know, basically, but isn't that a normal reaction if a, relationships, uh, a relationship ends? It's always due to the other one, right? Isn't that what, what normally happens? Because then everyone is like, we are going to take care of you. And it's all going to be alright, right? So, I don't know. Let's just go to the supply drop. I'm talking uh, nuts again. Hello. Oh, two forks. Mm, whatever. Yeah, let's report getting right. supplies. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Do oh, wow. Day 64. 64. 
Oh, hello. Proceed for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Flapjack fire. Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. <laughs> They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> flapjack fire. Ah, that's beautiful. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? No. What is it? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, we are. Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. There's the sun. Yeah. The flapjack fire. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? I think, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm, I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. Yeah, okay. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk without these radios. I think that's pretty talk. nice, right? Just talking to each other. You know. What? What could we do? There's 76. You're going fishing without a license? Yeah, it's we are. It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. <laughs> no, I won't tell anyone you're fish a butcher. That like. reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? Sure. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Problem bear, fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Are we going here? Thank you, Henry. Got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't um, pick my map up, so I don't really know where to go, but I, I reckon this is the right way. I think I've been here. It's quite weird the uh, the flies that the days are flying right now. I mean, we're just missing like 20, 30 days, like a month, right? Quite weird, but yeah, I I I like it. I like how they do it. All right, so what's that? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Oh, there's a way. That's a. What? The, uh, it's. Holy shit! What is it? What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? I don't think Someone so. Someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. 
That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can see. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. I could hear it. Henry, I'm worried. That's strange. Nice to us, Canyon. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. I found a walkie-talkie out here too. Uh, okay. It's going. Oh Jesus! Oh my God, that scared me. <laughs> oh God. I think I, it's the strange figure or the girl. I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ! <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't. What the fuck is going on? I don't know anymore. Wapiti Station. I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right Wapiti. before us cold cut. Mm. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you Wapiti. saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I can't reply with my map out. It's just it's quite weird. Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel cash. fine. Uh, let's go to the cash. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Yeah. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm going to call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, spooked. I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Thank you. Alright, let's uh. Alright, what are we on? Yeah, 86. 82986, run! Got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they will uh, let me out of here for a while. Uh, who's to say though, but just being what they are. Did you get my notes about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but uh, I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there, I guess you must have got hung up the PS Amigos is Spanish for professional. Ooh, Jesus. For is Spanish and professionalis is Italian. Good to know. Take this. We're going to What's the name again? <laughs> We're going to Web Webti Station, but in another episode, because this is where we'll end this. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video guys, uh, take care and I will see you in the next one, goodbye.